Hello. Hi. Today we're going to talk about annoying things. Things that annoy me and they should annoy you. This will be the first of several videos, some of which will include interviews and stuff like that, that will be about cultural appropriation. Yes. It's a very, very mm, interesting little uh, phrase that's up in the media a lot. And if you don't know what cultural appropriation is, you are probably white as fuck. We're probably all guilty of it in one way or another. Um, this first video will be about cultural appropriation and Viking culture, because that's a fun subject that I see a lot of people post about, and mostly it's fucking stupid posts about it. So let's dive into that. But first, a little word about cultural appropriation as it is. As a term, the idea is that you're from one culture and you take something from another culture and thieve it. <laughs> Colonialism in one way or another. Now, in some cases, you can adopt from another culture without it being an insult, a bad thing, because uh, they're major cultures and it's not something that people find to be um, fucking important, really. Like, um, let's say a European uh, person decides to adopt an American accent. Idiotic? Sure. Um, fairly harmless? Yeah, probably. I don't think many Americans are gonna get like really pissed off. Um, oh wait, I think Haywood did a video about that. Actually, they do get really pissed off about it. Scratch that. There's lots of things that you can take from other cultures that will, that, that will, that will not insult. Haywood just, the coin dropped back there behind the camera. There's lots of things you can take from other cultures without being a thieving cunt. Um, and then there's a lot of shit that you should leave the fuck alone. And a general rule of thumb is, if you're from a majority culture, don't take from minorities, don't take from the native tribes, because that's, that's a dick move. And in part, we're all guilty of it because this has been done by our ancestors and a lot of it is like already ingrained into our society and all these things. Um, and at the same time, there are things that would be great if we learned from other cultures, for example, um, Native American uh, ideals on two-spirit uh, and uh, gender inclusion and stuff like that, which we're, as a white community, we're pretty fucking bad at. I just wanted to quickly outline the concept of cultural appropriation if you've not understood it yet. And if you didn't understand it from what I just said, you can go Google it or you might be a, a lost cause uh, sitting in your shed polishing your guns already. In that case, uh, unfollow and fuck off. Can you culturally appropriate Viking culture? Is there a Viking culture? Can people with darker skin and no Scandinavian heritage get Viking tattoos? Those are all questions that I will try to answer here. Um, generally, the answer is, if you're posing this question, you're a bit fucked. The year is 793. It's the 8th of June, I believe and a bunch of idiots on a boat decide they're gonna attack this bunch of monks living in a monastery because they probably have money and gold. Uh, this happens an hour north of here by car. I don't know how long it is by a fucking long boat, but uh, the Lindisfarne raid sets the, the date for when the so-called Viking Age begins. Basically, when, when a bunch of uh, bearded assholes starts harassing other countries a lot, uh, using long ships, round shields, spears, axes, and swords, and uh, annoying guerrilla-like techniques, and never fight unless you outnumber your opponent kind of thing. Now, um, a lot of people want to uh, make this into like a, a romantic, uh, romanticized cultural thing, like watching Pirates of the Caribbean and everyone wants to be like Johnny Depp, constantly drunk, flailing about on a fucking boat, right? Um, it's, it's not to me, by the way, I can only speak from my point of view. You cannot define this 
as Nordic culture. Uh, it's romanticized and it's idiotic because the idea that Vikings, the Scandinavians and Northmen were all bold brave warriors who got on board these wooden fucking rickety ships and crossed the seas for freedom and adventure and blah 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 blah, blah. it's all nonsense anyways. It's warfare, it's unpleasant, it's rapists, it's uh, slave traders and murderers uh, on a boat. And sure, they might have looked really cool and History Channel might have made it look really nice with Tra Travis Fimmel running around looking pretty, um, braiding Anglo-Saxon territories and shit like that. But that doesn't mean that it's an actual cultural thing. If you look deeper at what the, the Scandinavian culture was at the time, it was basically agricultural capitalism or feudalism or both. See, around 11,000 years ago, things went weird. 11,000 years ago-ish, humanity decided, some parts of humanity, decided that they really liked, I don't know, corn on the cob. And some asshole decided to just plant that and then he would have extra of it so he could always eat corn on the cob and he could trade it to others but he would have to store it and he would have to hire guards to guard his crop and shit like that and voila all of a sudden we had invented agricultural societies agricultural culture agricultural <laughs> fuck it um, at the same time we invent capitalism because when you have to store things and trade things you need money and all of these things these things go very much hand in hand these principles were well loved by the Vikings. They entertained the idea of taking other people's lands and settling there and farming the fuck out of them and building their own little cities. The whole go out and get gold from others and steal their women and children and all these things, it's means to an end. The goal is to have enough gold to have a big army and more ships so you can go and take other people's lands and conquer, I don't know, England, where I am now. This whole region that I am currently sitting in used to be Dane land, Dane law and all these things for quite a long time because Danes who had gold hired others with gold, went here, conquered land, took it and kept it for themselves. Warfare, conquering things. Like, uh, it's not pioneering because other people lived here. Uh, so it's strangely colonialism uh, in one way or another. If it is a culture, it's an unpleasant culture. I don't think it's something to romanticize, by the way. Um, the Vikings were shit. <laughs> and the modern Viking gods, Odin, Tyr, Tios, and so on, are all mm, unpleasant because they're all like really into law, order, society, follow the leader, the king on the throne or the Jarl or whoever the fuck leads the boat or the city. Give him gold and he might give you an arm ring and you'll get respect and honor. Basically, you get social credit for fealty. Um, so it's like feudal society and capitalism and farming all mixed together in a strange dumbass pot where the strong leads the sheep and it reminds me a lot of modern society. Let's jump to the internet. On the internet, a lot of people think that, oh, Vikings are just so fucking cool. It's very romantic, it's like big strong men with axes on board ships going to France or England or Italy or Byzantium or wherever the fuck to make their mark and be mighty adventurous. In reality, they, they want what what we have today. That, that is the aspiration. If you follow the edicts of the gods and the leaders and all these things, it ends up where we are now. In a weird way, the Vikings kind of won. Also, the Viking Age is a very short uh, time period, and by most historians, it's just seen as like late Iron Age or European Dark Age. Um, granted, a lot of cool things happened. A lot of artwork from the Viking Age happened, which was amazing. When I roam the internet, usually the people I see pointing fingers at others for appropriating Viking culture are the same assholes that will uh, post pictures of their, um, their quite modern bind rune tattoos um, or their uh, new trad chest piece or whatever the fuck 
and they'll be ranting about how they are Asa true and follow the old gods uh, and they're like real original because they have like uh, taken that whole um, 23 and me test and it turned out that their heritage is like really fucking Scandinavian um, and therefore they are Vikings most likely their ancestors were farmers um, or slaves <laughs> whatever the fuck like the odds of your ancestors actually being uh, Vikings going on Viking raids quite small talked about this in other videos and, and people still comment it here and, and now uh, now and again saying like oh but I know for a fact that my great 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 grandfather uh, sailed to England and raided like how the fuck do you know this that does that doesn't show up in DNA even if you have some Anglo-Saxon DNA mixed in there it, that means shit because sailors from both these coasts have pinged back and forth on fisher boats for the last few hundred years, for sure. Um, getting drunk and fucking still, just like the Vikings did. It doesn't mean that your great was Jarl something something. It might mean that your great grandfather, 14 times fucking removed, was a fisherman from York who sailed to Jutland and slept with a barmaid. Whoop to fucking do. That doesn't make you a Viking. Fuck off. Appropriating Viking culture. I think that's the next part. One, it's dead. It's gone. Um, sometimes people will be like, oh, but people in Iceland. Look up the history of Iceland and the people living there now. For a very long time, there was very nothing very, very Vikingy about Iceland and Icelandics, Icelandic peoples. Um, they basically had a really, really tough time for several centuries um, because it's a rock in the sea. <laughs> it wasn't a good place and they were just raided by other nations that took them as slaves on board ships and fucked off again and stuff like that. And this is way past Viking Age. Sure, there is some connections between the language and nowadays the Icelandics are pretty fucking Viking because they do live on a rock in the middle of the Atlantic Sea and they're quite cool people and they're very friendly and all these things. They don't get on board wooden longships and go raiding with axes in other countries. The Viking thingy that you so adore is gone. Um, there might be a few people out there that has, you know, something similar. Like, hmm, let's say American soldiers in the American army that goes to the Middle East mm, to be part of the profiteering oil wars, for example. That is pretty Vikingy because it involves uh, working for some capitalist cunt and doing some assholy shit to people you've never met before uh, in other countries. You didn't sail there on a long ship, granted. You might have gone there if, you, if you're really, really in an extreme position on some Navy battleship destroyer, but I don't think so. Usually, you get there by plane, which is not a long boat. There's a big difference. Um, wasn't much aluminum around or jet fuel in the Viking Age, so it doesn't work that way. Those are probably the people that get the closest to being Viking as can be, especially if they go about raping as well. Then they're really close. And if you can shout Odin while doing it, even closer. You're also a cunt. Like, you're a fucking terrible human being if that is what you're doing. So, I, it's nothing to adore or put on a pedestal or anything like that. What there is to enjoy about the Viking Age is the magic and the myths and the artwork and the stories and the sagas, which are all really, really cool and very inspiring and very interesting. But they're stories and they're leftovers of a time long past. And in all honesty, when I see someone in, let's say, uh, South America, post on Facebook. Hey, guys, I really love Nordic artwork and Nordic tattoos. I really want a Thor's hammer tattooed, but I kind of get the feeling that it might be wrong because I'm not Caucasian as fuck. What should I do? Is it okay if I get a Nordic tattoo? Is it cool if I get the Aros mask on my chest and a Thor's hammer on the other side? Would that be all right? And then I see a bunch of 
terrible people answering below like, oh, I don't get it. Why would you get something that's not even your culture? Why would you be stealing? That's cultural appropriation. Blah, 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 blah. Fuck off. This is literally taking something from a bunch of asshole, assholes, a bunch of asshole, taking shit from a bunch of assholes that took everything from everyone else. Like these idiots fucked about and stole with hands and feet like greedy fucking raccoons of doom from everyone else. And now some guy in South America would like to take a little piece of art and put it on him. And you have an issue with that? Why? What the fuck is wrong with you? Calm down, climb off your fucking horse, or get back in your fucking canoe and paddle off. There's nothing to steal. It's in my opinion. Again, this is my opinion because you can't speak for an entire culture. There is nothing that is stealing about this. It's free to take. It's cool. Use it. Art is meant to inspire. Art is meant to be a catalyst for more art and for more creativity and to create joy in people's lives. Sure, some of the artwork that the Vikings created might have been like, ooh, scary mask on a big stone. It might have been meant to scare people away. We don't really know. It doesn't fucking matter because nowadays we don't get scared by a face on a fucking rock. So just enjoy it and use it as you fucking want. Now, just to jump back to the I speak only for me, I do speak only for me. There are many other Nordic tattoo artists out there. There are many historians and archaeologists out there. There are many historical fanatics and fanboys out there. And everyone will have their own fucking opinion. And that's fucking fine. You can't approve anything on behalf of an, an entire culture or an entire country, even if you're the prime minister of that fucking country. Having worked with Nordic heritage artwork for the last 10 years and been a part of it for many more years um, on my part from me I can very very solemnly say do it take what you want get it tattooed it's fucking fine that is speaking about Nordic art Viking culture kind of thing you can definitely do negative cultural appropriation of a vast, vast range of other things in the world. This is not an approval of doing that. Don't be a cultural thief. Don't be a colonializing bastard like the Vikings were. Just play nice, all right? Thank you. Thank you for listening to my angry Monday morning rant and uh, Oh, by the way, if you're a racist asshole or like Trump voting, blah, 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 and you have like been part of riots where you had like a big uh, shield with a Nordic rune on it and shit like that on behalf of, <laughs> of the, the whole Nordic thing, go fuck yourself because that's what the Nazis did. They took artwork and cultural heritage and ideals and they fucking twisted it and made it into something terrible and they warped the swastika, they warped the runes, they warped iconography from all over the fucking world. They even made the image of an eagle into something negative. Um, it's a fucking bird and it became like rawr, the evil symbol of the Nazi empire. And you've been busy doing the same thing because you're a bunch of cunts. Climb off the fucking horse again. Yeah, that's a no. And also if you have watched this far in my videos and on my Instagram and all these things, and you're right now having a terrible realization that, oh my God, he doesn't like people who are like terribly right winged and really likes to like hide in secret and be assholes to people of different skin colors. I have no idea how you made it this far, but um, re-examine your life. Come to terms with the fact that racism is an outdated institution that needs to fuck off this planet. And if you can't come to terms with that, at least just fucking unfollow me because there's no room in my life or my social media output for people like you. On the other hand, there's a hell of a lot of space and love for everyone who are kind and happy and good at giving space to people of all colors, sexualities, 
mentalities, like everything, just like, inclusiveness and niceness to everyone except mm, hateful cunts. I say that after having spent an entire video ranting about, well, me being hateful towards something. I don't know. That's a difficult one. But you shouldn't be inclusive to people who are terrible, should you? Anyways, rant over. Uh, back to work. Fuck off. Thank you.